Hello, my name is Eric Davis, El Presidente of Old Spanish Days Fiesta 2020. Um, during this pandemic, we've decided to tell some stories through video. We're going to look at some of the artists, talk about the history, and like I said, tell stories. Uh, we're privileged to uh, have with us today Fritz Ollenberger, who's a, a member of the Board of Old Spanish Days, but is also uh, known for his beautiful photography. He brings a fiesta and many events to life throughout Santa Barbara County. Uh, welcome, Fritz. Nice to have you. Good to be here. So this was not your original career in professional photography, but uh, it, you've sure embraced it. Yeah, I was uh, an engineer uh, with Raytheon Company, first back east. Uh, and then uh, here in Goleta, uh, started with Raytheon back in 1972 uh, and moved out here in 1994. And uh, we've lived here ever since. I retired in 2009. And that's when, you know, I've, I've always been interested in photography. Uh, when I was growing up, my dad had two cameras, a Leica and a Rolleiflex, which were very nice cameras, and he let me <laughs> play with them. And uh, he explained some of the fundamentals of photography. And so I've always enjoyed photography. But Absolutely, and it's, uh, and it's something it seems like you enjoy with your wife as well. <laughs> <laughs> she accompanies me uh, everywhere I go. Uh, she's a great help. Uh, uh, everybody that knows me also knows her. Uh, she carries my camera bag, hands me my lenses that I need. She's a, she's a great help. Thank you for bringing her name up. And what, what got you um, focused on events in particular? Or what, was it just organic in terms of how did you decide, I want to capture you, you know, this race, this event, this... Uh, how did how'd you, how'd that come about? Before I retired, most of my photography was... Um, landscape photography and scenic photography, travel photography. I had had some uh, photos of travel photography published on the cover of uh, travel uh, or uh, yeah, travel magazines. And then uh, as I approached retirement, I started getting interested in events around Santa Barbara. I photographed a lot of the uh, parades, uh, all of the parades really, and uh, uh, then one day, I think it was probably about a year before I retired, uh, I was watching a parade and uh, Francisco Cabrera approached me. Now, Francisco uh, and his family, uh, his wife Maria, uh, his daughter Marisol, and son Pablo are very much uh, involved uh, with Old Spanish Days Fiesta. Francisco uh, also worked at Raytheon with me. So he and I knew each other pretty well. And he approached me and uh, asked me if I would be willing to, both myself and Gretchen, be willing to uh, join them because their their whole family danced at that time uh, at Noches de Ronda on stage and take uh, photographs on stage. And I was just <laughs> delighted uh, to hear that. Uh, and uh, so we did that. By the way, Marisol, uh, his daughter, uh, was a former uh, spirit of Fiesta, also a former junior spirit of Fiesta, and I believe a former uh, St. Barbara. So anyway, at that time, uh, his family was dancing and I took photographs on stage. Uh, I did not have my digital camera. Uh, maybe, remember this was quite a few years ago. I did not have a digital camera at that time. and. So the lighting being quite low uh, at uh, Noches de Ronda um, was a bit of a challenge. And then when I, uh, the next year he invited me again. And after that, I was going to, to all of them. Uh, and I think that was really how I got started in uh, photographing events around Santa Barbara. Yes. And this is a town of, uh... Parades. There's so many parades in, in Santa Barbara almost uh, every weekend, it seems. But for me, what you capture the best is the dance, the spectacular dance of Fiesta. Um, you mentioned you were on stage for Noches de Ronda, which is uh, just incredible. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull up some of your, your photos, and if you would just kind of uh, talk about that. But um, you, you really have a, a, a kind of a keen interest in Old Spanish Days Fiesta. And the dancers just 
love you for capturing these special moments for them. You know, when I, we hear the, the spirit and junior spirit talk on their, their farewell addresses, you're the first person they, they, they thank. And um, you, you bring events like we had uh, last Saturday to life. So um, if we can go ahead and, and cue up a few of these uh, photos. So here's, here's one, uh, and this is just unbelievable. Uh, she's, uh, this is Jessalyn McCollum. Uh, she, uh, this is her performance at the Spirit Auditions uh, in 2019. And based on uh, this performance and uh, also uh, interviews, which is uh, another thing that they uh, uh, do uh, for the selection, uh, she was selected Spirit of Fiesta this, that year in uh, 2018. Uh, I love this photo. Uh, she's wearing a bata de cola, which you don't see a lot of in the auditions. And it's, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm told that it is a little risky because uh, it's easy to <laughs> screw up. <laughs> so you really have to be uh, talented and know how to use it. But I like this picture because of the S curve sort of formed by the, the shawl and the bata de cola. And look at that expression on her face. I mean, she is absolutely loving this. Uh, and I think that's the way these uh, dancers have to approach the auditions. They have to go out there and just have fun. And you can tell uh, by this picture that she is just having a blast. And what do you capture this with? I mean, you, you, I, I know where you sit. Um, it's, it's a little bit, uh, it's, the lighting's different. What, what kind of camera are you using for those out there? Oh, I use uh, a Canon 5D Mark IV. Uh, it's one of the two cameras that I use uh, most. I have a lot of cameras, but they're, they're older ones. Uh, but I use a, a 5D Mark IV. And usually for the auditions, I use a, a 70 to 200 millimeter zoom lens, also a Canon. And for the photographers out there, it's a, the lens speed is f2.8. And just about all the photographs I take with a lens wide open, which lets in uh, a lot of light. Um, and so I shoot at f2.8 uh, for these. And I shoot at a fairly high ISO, uh, again, for the photographers, uh, 3200 to 6400, usually 3200. And uh, then I let the camera pick the shutter speed. But when I uh, select those other two parameters, it forces the camera to take the uh, picture at the highest shutter speed that it can. And so that captures the, uh, that captures the face and the hands and the feet uh, uh, stationary. Uh, you see a little bit of blur in the shawl, but that gives you a feeling of motion. Uh, so that's the camera I use, and I, this is one of my favorites. Let's move on to another picture. And um, this is also uh, at the Spirit Auditions, but it captures not only the emotion in the crowd, but the emotion on stage and what it means. This is a lifetime of work that these dancers put into this. It is. Uh, some of these dancers have been uh, taking lessons since they were three years old. This shows uh, Natalie Mowers, who has selected the 2014 Junior Spirit of Folk Fiesta. And uh, the uh, sash is being given to her by Kehlani Cordero, who is the previous year's uh, junior spirit of fiesta, and you know when I when I take these shots, I start out. I, normally, I I sit in the audience, taking from from my chair in the audience. But right before they announce, I run up an aisle away from the stage, way back, to get a shot of all of the dancers. It'll either be a line of junior uh, spirit uh, dancers or senior spirit dancers because I want to get that whole line as the envelope is being opened. And then once I've gotten that picture, I run down the aisle and wait for the announcement because it's always uh, something like this. It's, it's very emotional and uh, I've got a lot of pictures like this. And it's just, I mean, you can just see the emotion in her face. It's just, I just love this photo. Um, let's take a look at this. Again, more dancing. And to me, 
this is what you, you just, you bring to life for this community. Um, now, I, I know where this is. Talk to me about this one. Oh, well, the, the next major free event, now there's a lot of parties that go on between the, uh, the auditions and the Kenya, and I, I haven't included uh, photos of those parties, but those keep me very busy. And there's other activities. There's flower girls, uh, visitations and so forth. But the, the next major big event is yes to the Kenya, which is always occurs on a Wednesday. However, they have the rehearsal for Fiesta de Kenya the day before, and that's when I go up, I have special access uh, to the roof of the mission, and I take photographs from there. The lighting is a little better because the rehearsal for Kenya occurs, uh, I don't know, an hour or two before, you know, earlier in the day, so the lighting's better. Uh, and I just have so much fun up there. <laughs> Uh, I've taken hundreds of photos uh, like this. This is one of my favorites. Um, this is Georgie Taupin, uh, who is the 2018 junior uh, spirit uh, of Fiesta. And uh, I like the, again, there's kind of an S curve there and I like the way the fringe flares out. Uh, but uh, I, I have a lot of fun up there. I think there's some more photos from up there that I have for you. Good. Yeah, this one. This is another one of my favorites. Uh, this is uh, Gilda Sagoon and Jenny Sanchez of the uh, Sagoon Dance Studio. And uh, this was actually on the cover of a magazine here locally. Uh, I really like this picture. Uh, I like the way the hair flies out um, and the way the skirts fly out. I just uh, love this picture. Uh, I get to know quite a few of these dancers and they get to know me and that's part of the fun of being a photographer. I've been doing this for, I don't know, 11 years or so and uh, just getting to know these people uh, and seeing them over and over again, it's, it's part of the fun. And the colors, uh, I, I just am always blown away and uh, Fiesta is about dance for me and it's about the colors and the vibrancy and the movement and you know, the beauty that's represented in dance, and th this one captures it. Now we go to, um, where, is, where is this one? Oh, <laughs> I'm still up on the roof. <laughs> I'm still up on the roof. Uh, the the uh, Fiesta Pequena ends with the various dance studios going on stage, taking a bow, and then grouping on uh, both sides of the stage. And they do that as part of the rehearsal as well. And so I was up there with my camera and I called Gretchen uh, from, the, from the roof. I called Gretchen who was down, down below and I said, Gretchen, go over to that group of people uh, and tell them I'm up here and have them wave at me. I tried yelling to them, but they can't hear me from up there. Uh, so uh, she went over there and they said that she pointed and said, look, there's my husband. He, you know, he, he wants to take a picture of you guys. <laughs> so <laughs> I got this picture. Uh, look at all the smiles on their faces. And now this is your shot. Yeah, this is uh, taken, as I said, from uh, the left side of the stage as you face the stage. Uh, this might be uh, somebody from the uh, Sagoon Dance Studio. Um, and uh, the challenge uh, for these uh, photos is that the action can be pretty fast. The lighting is relatively low. So again, I have to shoot at a very high ISO and uh, shoot with my lens wide open. Uh, that's a good thing. When you shoot with the lens wide open, it throws some of the background stuff out of focus, as you can see here. So you can concentrate on the main uh, main point of the image, which is the face of this uh, lady dancer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we are at opening night of Fiesta, and thank you for sharing this journey through Fiesta, through photos, um, especially this year. It really captures of uh, what the, the spirit of Fiesta and, and what it means to our community. Thank you, Fritz, for this time. If people want to see all your photos, where's the best way they can do that? 
Uh, I have a website. It's uh, www.olenberger.com. When you go to the website, uh, click on galleries, and there's galleries of all kinds of things, including uh, Old Spanish Days Fiesta. When you click on that, there's a gallery for each, or a collection of galleries for each year. And then when you click on that, within any year, there's a, a gallery for each event. And typically, there might be like 25 to 30 different events in a year. And so uh, I've got photos of all of those. Well, thank you, Fritz. I've enjoyed this chat. And even though Fiesta may look a little bit different this year, 